Today my family and I are visiting one of the most haunted places here in Florida. Its history dates back to the 1800s when civil war and slavery were taking place. This cemetery is also known as Black Cemetery and rumored to be the site of tree hangings and KKK brutality. There have been multiple reports of encounters with the paranormal, from visual to physical. If there's something here, we're about to find out. Now there's been a great deal of disrespect when it comes to this gravesite too. There was some people that came in and they actually broke into the to the crypts and took a couple of the people's heads. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, just uh, this this place has definitely been disrespected. We did see another car going here just a minute ago. Oh, here we have a a headstone that doesn't have any writing or anything on it. I'm not sure how old it is. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing on it. Well, it's hard to make out what this says, but whoever it was was born in 1817 and died in 1880. What exactly is a K2 meter? K2 meter uh, picks up the presence of a spirit, and when there's a spirit present, it will go all the way, you know, it'll start jumping up and it'll spike up to red if this presence is strong. Like over here on this little girl's grave, we've got it to spike up to red many times. Actually, it just spiked before you guys walked up. It's, this is kind of creepy. I mean, look. It, it is. Look at the doll. Yeah. It's really the first, creepy. The first night we came up here, the side of the head wasn't broke. The next night we came up here, it was cracked. Yeah. We got pictures, it looks like in one of the images of someone hanging from a tree. I've heard um, of that. I've seen have, that online, okay. yeah. Which we, it was right over there. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's creepy. Um, we were told, the by, on my EVP, tree. we were told to uh, leave, to wow. get the F out of here. Yep. You actually heard it? Yes, yeah. we did on our EVP recorder. When was that? Uh, about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, because he asked, he asked the question, he said, do you want us to leave or do you want us to stay? And it said leave. And then a few minutes later it said, get the f out of here. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. I'm like, okay, we're out of here. I'm trying to pack up and go. Well, you know what? I, I, um, I don't feel like peace here. I don't, I don't know. It's, either. And he don't It's either. real weird. Yeah, and uneased. I'm not really that type of like spiritual type person. I mean, I have a relationship with God. That, you know, that's about it. We but do too. we do too. But I, uh, I feel real like uneasy yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. very strange. Watching you. Um. Yeah. Something like that. Just um uncomfortable. That's what he feels. Un un very uncomfortable when feeling. Pulled in. I thought, I thought I heard a, a man's voice at the entrance. That's oh, why Lord. I stopped and I just turned around and looked. And like, mm -hmm. okay, well, let's keep going. Is there more action here, like at nighttime? It seems oh, to be at night. Yeah. 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 This is our first time here during the during day, the day so, so we haven't really got a whole lot. But at night, you do. That's the tree I saw somebody that's, hanging. That's yeah. That's, is it? Yeah. That's you it. actually seen somebody hanging from that tree? Yes, he did. Oh, you right seen there. somebody I hanging? Seen somebody hanging. Oh wow. All right. This flower just a few minutes ago was standing straight up, and none of us stepped on it and it's laying down and there's there's no marks of being stepped on I don't know I don't even know if I should touch it it's just uh, I find that really odd and that's right underneath our tree oh wow yep it's blinking it's look, all, look. oh wow look at that I knew there was something here. Yes, there's definitely something here. Hmm. That's freaked out. I don't know. I don't know anything about those meters, but it was really strange that it was going off right when I felt some weird vibes on this flower that none of us stepped on. And you can see like a few feet away that there's another flower that looks just like it that's standing upright perfectly. Uh, I just thought that was really strange. There's a shed or a slaughterhouse here that was owned by the Ku Klux Klan and they used to torture some of the African-American slaves 
there and some of them that are laid to rest here not sure the accuracy on that story but this is what I dug up online I feel really strange here I mean as soon as I arrived here I felt this like dizziness almost like a dizzy spell now I do get a little dizzy sometimes I haven't felt like this honestly in a few years which is quite strange and ironic that when I come here I'm feeling weird like that Oh, that's just that's just me personally. It might just be a coincidence. There goes that that flower, and you could see the other one that's right over there. Get closer to it so you can see it. There it is. This doll is extremely creepy. It has, I don't know, it looks like a plug, some kind of light. Is it bad if I touch it? Um, I'm not sure if I would touch it. I don't it. want to like move it, but I just want to touch it. Did that break? Mm, it was laying over here. Oh, weird. They were recording on their EVP, and they heard um, a that said elephant. Say elephant, and there's yep. an elephant right here. Yep, they actually heard, before they even seen the elephant, they heard elephant i've never seen a bug like that in florida oh my gosh some of the african-american families that own this particular gravesite you can see here have been laying down their relatives and wow this girl actually she really wasn't a whole lot older than i am 1977 and i was born in 82. there's a picture of tarasha uh, I hate seeing grave sites of people that are young, sometimes even younger than me. It kind of breaks my heart. Around dusk, I've heard that there's been some baby crying. Not sure, I've never been here around that time, but I'm wondering if it has anything to do with these babies. I don't know if this was twins, but I doubt that someone would put two tombstones for the same baby what does this one say clara smith, clara smith. is there a date on there somewhere there, but it says 19... no. 1927 really or, or that's when this was made it says c-l-a-r-a-s-m-i-t-h oh boy we can't see anything. Definitely old. People that served in our military. Well, you can sort of tell this is kind of like a family owned type cemetery because there's people still being buried here. The most recent burial plot I've seen is maybe like just a year or two ago. Now, funny story. Just a few minutes ago, I was doing some aerial shots right now of the cemetery and trying to find if I could see that abandoned shed that I've seen online. Well, not that I've seen it, I've heard about it online, where they would torture some of the African slaves. I'm trying to find it. But as I'm flying my drone here in this, this area right here, and mind you, I have my drone. I mean, I could fly my drone in 30 mile per hour winds. There's not really a ton of wind especially underneath the trees as i'm flying my drone in through here there was something trying to pull it down and i didn't think there was anything here but when i landed my drone which is this is where i was trying to go down i seen this i think it has a story to it I'm not sure what and there's no names or nothing I mean, other than those few things, I haven't been spooked to the point where I feel like unwelcomed here. I have felt like a bit of sadness, you know, especially seeing that, that young girl's grave and seeing some of the, the old grave sites, wondering if maybe there were African slaves that were hung in the 1800s. You know, that, that kind of saddens me. You know, those are human, human lives, people like you and I. They lived a pretty, pretty rough life. 
just hope that they're resting and they're in a good place right now. Definitely a lot of bugs out here. If you're gonna come out to the Spring Hill Cemetery, make sure you bring bug spray. Cause even with the bug spray that I put on, I'm still getting kind of tortured by some bugs here and there. Hey, this is definitely another headstone. I'm not sure if there's any writing on it. Uh, it kind of, I'm not sure, maybe this was knocked over. Okay, I found a really fresh burial and it looks like they just recently dug that. Wonder if it was a baby or a young kid that passed away. I mean, being a 2004 headstone, I mean, that looks like, I mean, doesn't that look way older than 2004? I mean, maybe someone did damage to it. I just don't see why a, a burial plot would be vandalized or have that much damage within, you know, I don't know, 12 years. It should still be pretty fresh. Something made out of concrete. Try to leave me. I want to get out of here. I think they're kind of spooked out. My personal experience at the Spring Hill Cemetery wasn't much of a scary one. I felt quite a bit of sorrow and suffering from those who were buried here during a dark time in our American history. You could almost immediately feel a heavy feeling of stress upon entering the cemetery that's hard to ignore. Many people have their own stories of this place. If you plan to visit, my advice to you is to come and be respectful of the dead. Just got home a little bit ago. I'm still rather dizzy from my encounter with, uh, you know, the haunted graveyard. Contemplating on going there at nighttime. If you guys enjoyed this video and you do want to see us go at nighttime, I guess there's a lot more action there at nighttime. Right, Jupiter? Maybe I'll bring Jupiter along. Let me know in the comment sections if you guys would like to see us do more videos like this. You know some exploration i mean i know my channel's kind of all over the place with pranks experiments you know just random adventures i kind of like it that way i think it's kind of unique he agrees